Hey yo, what's up? Marjorie here and welcome to another episode of Let's Check Out G22. We are now at episode 3 and we are going to be checking out, well, the next track on my list which is listed as Defy. And there's no MV for this, at least nothing that I could find. So we are going to be checking out a stage performance of this single which is on AOS or All Out Sundays on GMA. So yeah, uh, let's see what G22 has in store for us here with Defy. Here we go. G22. Hmm. You get right into it. Oh, wow. Nice. Ooh. It sounds so good. Ooh. It sounds so good from AJ. Ooh. Ooh. Low note rap line from Bianca? Wow. Nice. Wow. Oh, nice. I really like that. This is really, really cool. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that gave me chills. So fierce here. Wow. Wait, what? Oh no. Oh no. It's this kind of show? That would have been really great if it were not for the guys in purple at the end. Oh man, it's that kind of show. Like, I'm not so familiar with All Out Sundays, but I've seen shows like this before, like here in the Philippines, especially in GMA. Um, uh 
the way those guys' names were flashed at the end of the screen there. These are amateurs that have been invited onto the show. I think. Most likely. Uh, and yeah, like, you know, if they were professionals that were well-known in the industry, we wouldn't need to flash their names. You know, uh, the Philippine entertainment industry is a small world. And most likely that uh, these guys are competing against each other. So what happens on shows like this is that... Uh, right, the, the, these are amateurs who auditioned and then were invited to come onto the show. And then they would be included in a number of performances. Like all throughout. And then at the end... There would be one that would be proclaimed like the winner. Something like that. I just wish they didn't include them in that G22 performance. That did not look good at all. And it's those four guys in purple that are amateurs. If you noticed earlier, there are two guys in brown. On the sides whose names were not flashed because most likely those are hired dancers by the studio those are professionals and they were dancing way better than the guys in the purple like if g22 just had like backup dancers come out like those guys in brown plus other guys in brown the sister the whole group that's uh under contract with the studio would have been fine. Would have been fine. But you had to have those guys in purple come out and take the center stage. G22 had to go to the sides for that. And it's very clear that their moves were very amateurish. And also, they were not dancing the same as each other. Because, well, first of all, they are competing, and usually <laughs> the way these competitions go, you can even call it a competition, uh, uh, the contestants rely more on, like, yeah, their charms, charisma, to try to win over favor uh, from whoever is voting if i'm not sure if it's like an audience vote if there's some judges to the side the panel or whatever like i said i'm not familiar with all out sundays but yeah there's usually something and usually the amateurs who go on to these shows they they just compete compete with their their riz rather than their actual skills as uh as dancers so yeah ah uh, but barring that we had a really great performance from g22 very strong performance strong choreography strong vocals and it just goes to show the level of their capabilities that they can dance such an energetic choreography it was a very uh very what do you call this very dynamic choreography that, that would really leave one out of breath but still G22 sang very stably throughout that. So, yeah, that that is oh, really, really great from them. Also, the the actual vocals in this 
performance. With jazz, it goes without saying, always great vocals. But the other three, I loved Alfea's vocals in this one. I also really loved um, AJ's parts where she does the. I can't remember the whole lyrics. The something something we defy. The one where she goes to this like higher pitch, uh, soft texture on her vocals, which is such a different expression from when she's rapping because uh that part is just like very calls for like a very bright expression on her face and i just love that part like especially since we get to contrast it like in, in you know in this like several seconds later she would be doing this very fierce rap part right and then speaking of rap parts, my favorite rap part would be that low tone rap from Bianca. That was amazing. Just simply amazing. I didn't know that Bianca could do that. Wow. So yeah. Uh, with that said, let's just go through the performance again let's see if we can point out some more things or just you know enjoy it all over again oh i am dreading the purple dudes though but here we go especially play like immediately sorry Immediately, you can see their choreography going on over there. Like, they're not just stepping. <laughs> they are hopping around. Like that. Wow. That, that calls for quite the energy at the start of the song. Just, wow. So much but hurt so much maybe. From a class Okay, sorry, that that line. We started off in English, and then that is the first. Well, for me, I I I'm not sure if there are any other Tagalog words mixed in there, but this is the first clear Tagalog line that I uh I've noticed here in the song, and that change in language. Uh, for those of us who are bilingual and can speak both languages, that usually uh, causes a little bit of an, an impact, right? Especially since we get that line, Bumakla sa siklo. Like I can hear it, I heard it quite clearly from Alfea. Bumakla sa siklo, which means um, break the cycle or actually break free from the cycle and so for me it uh having that switch from english to tagalog and then with that line that is quite meaningful it it hits different so yeah yeah. So yeah, we have a little taste of the rap line that's coming later on, but <laughs> this is nowhere near like uh like the rap line that comes next from Bianca. This <laughs> like defies all expectations well it is defy right nice 
And then here we go. Yeah, I love that line from AJ. It just it's so bright and like it feels like you are like well breaking free you're flying upwards something like that it just gives me that feeling which really fits the song quite well then it's more of an anti-drop for the chorus so it's yeah, it's choreography heavy here. And this! Mm. Just sounds so good. Wait, can, can we repeat that, please? Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Just hits you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just noticed something. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I have a bit of a cough. Anyways. I did not notice before, but Bianca is actually singing in a different language here. Uh, rapping, sorry, rapping. It's, if I'm not mistaken, I, I don't speak it, but I think it is Bisaya. Right? It. Yeah. I think it's Bisaya. I'm not sure, like, Anyone of you watching is fam more familiar with the Visayan language? And it is a language. Okay? Because it's very different linguistically. Uh, there's like no no point of... Well, no, uh, not much common point of overlap with uh, Tagalog. Uh, and so, like, I do not understand it at all. It's so nice to see, like, for example, performers like these. Uh, if they have, like, for example, a, a, a different place where they're from in the Philippines, it's nice that they get to showcase a bit of uh, their background, their, their heritage, right? Which is why I tend to gravitate towards groups like Alamat, uh, Alamat really, really goes uh, forth with showcasing uh, the various parts of the Philippines that they're from. And uh, yeah, it's just so nice to see. Yeah, it sounds like Bisaya. Or is it whatever? I don't know. Nice. AJ has so much attitude when her when she's rapping. Oh, that line again from AJ. So good. And then this part. <laughs> they go so fierce here. Oh, 
And that 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 low like uh kinda growl like thing with the defy <laughs> that just hits different here. Yeah. Wow. Then we have Alfea and Bianca with the splits and these dudes. So if you, there's a difference between the purple dudes and the brown dudes. Yeah. That that really spoiled the ending for me. <laughs> oh, like I wish these kinds of shows would just have these amateur performers just stick to like defined competition rounds instead of having them dip into every single performance that happens throughout the show. So like they join in even like when there's like guest singers in there. It's just uh, they're competing. They should compete on their own. So yeah. By the way, again disclaimer: not familiar with the format of All Out Sundays. I'm just comp uh, likening it to how I've seen other shows like this in the Philippines uh, uh, go. Especially in like noontime. Uh, actually, n Sunday noontime shows. Usually it happens on Sunday noontime shows. Uh, but yeah, like I have no idea what's happening with, with GMA anymore. Like I don't watch much local TV these days, so but it looks like they're still doing that stuff here with All Out Sundays. Anyways, yeah. Uh, really, really great performance from G22. Barring the ending there, but like that's not their fault. That's a decision of the studio. A decision of, uh, yeah. Uh, JMA, but yeah, uh, it, they're just such a talented group. Um, stellar vocals, really uh, great dance skills as well to be able to uh, keep up with such a such an energetic choreography. Like the members uh, look very much. In harmony with that, I wouldn't say in sync, uh, but in in harmony. Like none of them look like they were lagging too much behind. But yeah, and to be able to do that and sing at the same time, just wonderful, just wonderful. And yeah, uh, but don't pay much attention to the lyrics. Uh, some of the lyrics, anyways, were going too fast for me. But uh, it seems like it also had a nice message as well. Basically, defying and breaking free from uh, whatever like cycle of pain that's holding them back, something like that. It just, even if you don't understand all of the lyrics, you can feel it in the song. So that's what I'm going more 
uh, going off on. Um, that the feel that it had, uh, this performance had throughout the song. Felt like, you know, they were really just breaking free, rising above it all. So yeah, really, really nice. So I think that's it for my reaction to G22's Defy. Uh, what more can I say? I'll probably just end up ranting again about those purple guys. Uh, but that's not the focus of this. That We're just supposed to be here for G22. So yeah, uh, wonderful, wonderful performance from them. And can't wait to check out more. We will be, well, continuing this series, you know, every Friday for the foreseeable future, as long as I have stuff on my list to check out from them. So yeah, uh, stay tuned next week for more G22. So let's end that, uh, let's end this reaction right here. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also feel free to check out my Patreon where I also post reactions to longer form content or casual content, most of which is available for free. You can probably see the titles pop up here on the side. There's also some bonus perks set aside for those who are kind enough to subscribe, such as access to my K-drama and anime reactions, which incidentally, you can also access for free for seven days, as that is tier one of my Patreon and it has a seven day free trial. So you might want to, well, try that out. Also, higher tiers of my Patreon get various levels of early access, depending on the tier, as well as priority when it comes to recommendations. But don't get too fussed about all that. Like I said, most of the stuff on my Patreon is available for free. So don't be afraid to check it out. The link to my Patreon is in the description down below, as well as a link to a spreadsheet where you can more easily navigate and access the said free content on my Patreon. So you might want to start with that first. The link to that is also in the description down below. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining me on this amazing and epic journey with G22. Until next time, have a great day everyone and hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.